What if you could spy on your top competitors' TikTok ads and see what success they are having? You can spy on Facebook, Instagram, and other platforms, but most don't actually realize that you can use TikTok's tool to actually identify successful ad campaigns and what TikToks convert best. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can spy on your top competitor's TikTok ads and the exact way to do so. And it's been a game changer for all, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Chase Chapel, and our agency spends over 10 million a year on Facebook ads and TikTok ads, and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do to spy on your competitors so you can also have success. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go to TikTok Creative Center, and you're gonna click on Inspiration, you're gonna go down, you're gonna click on Top Ads, and once you do so, you're gonna see a page here where TikTok literally calls out their high-performing auction ads. And in fact, we've literally placed in the top 10 spot six different times for our actual clients. Yes, top 10 converting ads in the US six different times. So we know exactly how this process works, we know what the top ads are, we know what it takes to get there, and we know exactly how to dissect a video to tell you whether or not it's going to be a video that is actually converting and worth going after and modeling for your own success as well. So we're gonna do a couple examples here, whether you're a brand, business, coach, influencer, this strategy can work for you to see exactly what types of content you need to put together on the ad side specifically that will allow you to generate sales, conversions, leads, or even get an account growth overall. So let's say that you're an apparel brand and you're looking to get an increase in overall sales and you're wanting to tap into the TikTok ad market so that way you can get a lot of individuals through your actual site and get a lot of purchases. What you do is you first choose the region which you're going to be running ads in. So ours in our case would be United States. And then for the industry, you can choose apparel and accessories. This is gonna limit it to the actual top performing ads in this space. And then for the campaign objective, we wanna be specific here because if we're looking to get purchases, then we wanna focus on conversions. That way we know it's a conversions campaign. We don't wanna go after traffic because that's just link clicks. We don't wanna click on awareness because that's just, you know, getting more individuals to become aware about your brand doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be getting sales from that. We want to make sure that, you know, these ads are actually converting for these brands and actually getting an ROI on the back end. Whether they're spending $1 and getting $6 out or spending $1 and getting $10 out, we wanna know this information so that way we can also achieve success too. And so once we click on conversions, we can then start to see some of these videos in the last seven days that have already started to pop up here. And what we can do is click on one of these videos and we can get the exact analytics we need from this actual ad. And you can actually see exactly how many likes, the total number of comments, the shares, the caption, the duration, what campaign objective is. We know it's men's clothing and we can actually see exactly when people click through the video so that way we know what call to action they're using. So let's go ahead and watch this video as an example because this is a perfect way for you to spy on a brand. Let's say that you're in the apparel at leisure space and Fabletics is one of your competitors. You can very well see their actual content here. All right, so a lot is already going on here and we can start to dissect this video pretty quickly. One, they're using a perspective from a lady who is commenting on men's shorts. So that's one perspective that guys you know, might find interesting because they're seeing a different perspective from it. Then you're getting the other perspective from the dude who actually wears the shorts and he's going over the reviews on the site. So they're building up credibility. They're breaking down what both you know sides are looking at. And then you can start to see that he's going through the landing page, showing the actual landing page that this individual is going to be going to. So very quickly, you know, you can start to see exactly what your competitor's strategy is. You can see that they have reviews, they're breaking down the actual site, so that way the customer can feel more comfortable with actually going there and making a purchase. He then starts to jump into the benefits where he's talking about it's comfy, it's moisture wicking, he's breaking down any objections the actual buyer potentially has, something cool, hidden pockets,
All right, so then he has the offer at the very end and you can see this huge spike in click-through rates. We know from experience that whenever there's a gigantic jump in a click-through rate at the very end of the video, the offer has been nailed. If there's a click-through rate throughout the video, that means people are clicking through because they're interested, but they're not getting all the information they necessarily need to make a purchase. It means they might've gotten excited or they saw something and they clicked because they you know, wanted to engage with it, but usually that doesn't allow them to have all the right info. With this video being 46 seconds long, they delivered a lot of information in a short amount of time, giving the buyer the right amount of info to you know, be willing to make the purchase. And because of that, you see a gigantic click-through rate jump at the very end. And let's say that you're actually selling shorts and you wanna find more brands in the actual shorts space where you can target those individuals and see exactly what types of ads they're creating. You would simply just type in the keyword shorts and you're gonna see ads that are literally highlighting more shorts. There you go, another video from Fabletics. Same format, same exact format they're using. They know that this actual format of ad works. And 6K likes, 58 comments, 60 shares. And their caption is, your new favorite shorts get two for 24. It's one line, it fits in the caption perfectly. You can see that line from the actual you know, TikTok ad without having to actually have more text running off. And they covered the exact same format around the same amount of seconds as well with a huge click-through rate at the very end. And you can see, other brands as well. And here's Chubby's. Here's a good example of a bad click-through rate because it's throughout the entire video. It's more of a awareness style video. They led with their logos. So there's clicks, but they're not necessarily equating to sales in the back end. There's low engagement volume. So you certainly know that this ad isn't gonna be one that's of a high conversion ad. So when you're using the top ads tool, you can search for brands. You can actually search for keywords of individuals and brands that you want to actually find. If you're selling you know, apparel, you could actually type in these specific apparel items that you're selling to see if those are ads. If you're selling you know, actual uh, cosmetics, type in the type of cosmetic item that you wanna search for. This is gonna allow you to actually find brands that are running ads and that are actually having top ads in the actual showcase here. Let's say that you're in the food and beverage space and you're looking for conversions. Click on food and beverage and you can see, you know, actual brands that are doing well in the food and beverage space. And we can see here's Daily Harvest around the 40 second mark as well. They have click-through rates throughout the whole video, but the massive click-through rate is the one that we're paying attention to at the very end. Here's their offer. Use code TikTok40 for up to $40 off. You know this ad is driving a lot of good conversions because it has a lot of engagements and it has a very strong click-through rate at the end. From experience, this is a good indicator that it's likely getting sales. So go ahead and use this tool to identify the top converting ads so that way you can be successful as well now once you've found some high performing ads and you want to create content around those exact videos go ahead and check out this video i handpicked for you going over the exact creative styles that you can use with your tiktok ads to be successful as well so go ahead and click this link and i'll see you inside our next video cheers and bye y'all Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.